Hi, welcome to the stock market analysis. If you look at any stock chart, there's always something that you can learn from it. And today we're going to look at quantum computing. It's a request from uh, one of my viewers. So without further ado, let's uh, take a look at the daily chart of uh, QUBT, quantum computing. Now, uh, one look at the chart, you can see uh, recently there is a very nice uh, green candle on very heavy volume and i tell you why this is a uh, very significant now first of all let us understand why it shot up from a technical point of view uh this stock actually broke out of a <coughs> triangle pattern okay so if you can see the triangle pattern uh, you you find it by connecting the highs the lows and the there's a downtrend there is an uptrend and near the apex this is where the stock will usually break out so not only is it a, a bullish sign if it breaks out higher okay it is also a timing tool because as the stock nears the uh, apex it will break out and what is, happens here is there was a bullish cross the 20 ma break above the 50 ma and uh, this kind of <clears throat> help to push it out up as it breaks out now uh, the target for the triangle has been met you can take the height of the all right and uh, we have this uh, nice breakout and uh, this uh, stock as it broke out it also broke above a resistance area yeah, you can see that this is a resistance area in the past uh, where it failed to go above this area okay but uh, once it has been overcome this area becomes a new support and what is significant is uh, as it broke out it broke out also above the uh, 200 ma and uh, this is a new uh, significant development because it has been staying above the uh, below the 200 ma for quite a long time as you can see, it has been uh, trading below the 200 MA for quite a long time. And now it's above it. And yesterday, there was a correction to the 200 MA. It's trying to find support here and form a bottoming tail. And uh, <coughs> if the, uh, the bottoming tail tells us that it is rejecting to uh, go lower, and if the stock is able to trade above the bottoming tail, uh, most likely it's going to go higher. <clears throat> but the area you want to look out for is the lows of this bottoming tail. As long as the stock stays above these lows, then most likely it's going to continue to move higher. Also, you want to take a look at this uh, large green candle. So what we can usually do with large green candle is um, you want to see how deep the correction is. Is it uh, above the 50% of the candle or way down here? Okay, but... Um, if the stock is able to uh, stay above the 50% of this candle, then also uh, it tells us the likelihood of it going higher is good in the future. But here we also have a very strong support because we have multiple highs here. So even if the stock drops to this area and it does not go below this support area, then most likely the path of this resistance will be higher as well. Okay. Um, what I do not like about the stock is there is a lot of uh, resistant overhead. Okay, you um, if you look at this area, this whole area is a resistance area, and <clears throat> for a stock that has uh, trading sideways for such a long time, it's not going to be easy for <clears throat> the stock to trade above to absorb the supply here. So um, if you trade this stock. Okay, you must uh, really find very uh, powerful patterns. Uh, for example, you can see there is a triangle. Okay, here. Okay, there is a triangle here. You could play the breakout of the triangle, right? By buying here, putting a stop loss here. But you see the move up was not very powerful because there's resistance here. There's also anticipated resistance here. But this one, because this triangle here worked very well because there's a lot of sideways trading that help absorb some of the supply and we also have a bullish cross here and this is a more uh, reliable pattern triangle compared to this triangle here so <clears throat> whenever you see a lot of resistance over here you want to look for only the best patterns with 
two or three confirmation, technical confirmations, uh, technical confluence. Now, um, let's take a look at the weekly chart. Weekly chart, you can see that this stock has been moving in a downwards direction. Um, it did quite well here, moved to a all-time here high about 24 <clears throat> 25 but ever since then it has been declining so what this tells us is this stock is actually in a long-term downtrend and this is just a like kind of bounce up there's so many areas of resistance you need to overcome like here 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 uh, here are resistance areas remember all these areas are people who have lost money and what do you think will happen if the stock goes up and uh, meet these areas for example here people who lost money here you see heavy volume would sell okay the moment it reaches here if it reaches here people will sell to recover their money so um all in all it's kind of difficult to uh, invest in this kind of stocks without taking profits faster because uh, there's a lot of resistance overhead so um uh, Try to look for stocks that are not in this kind of a long-term downtrend. Uh, look for stocks that are in a long-term uptrend because your odds of making more money in the stock and it's better, it's easier for you to uh, buy stocks, trade stocks that have uh, little to no resistance over here. here. Doesn't mean you can't play this stock here if it forms a very good uh, deep setup here, you can buy okay if it drops to here you find uh, it, it has a very good setup you can buy but sell a bit faster because there's a, a lot of resistance overhead here <clears throat> so um maybe let's just take a look at the 60 minute chart i don't see any uh, pattern nice pattern right now maybe if it breaks above this downtrend line it can go higher but i'm not as confident as it uh, compared to this uh, triangle pattern here so um <coughs> I'm not sure what time frame you're looking at or if you're a day trader or a longer term investor or trader but I do hope that this analysis and look at uh, different time frames has helped you to know a bit better about uh, quantum computing and uh, if you find this helpful please like and share this video and uh, subscribe to my channel for more analysis and lessons like this and I'll see you in the next one